Welcome back to the Morning Blend, where we are entertaining in style with David Caruso. This is presented to you by Marcus Hotels and Resorts. So, do you love camping? Yeah. Maybe you're like me, you love the idea, but you're not so fond of roughing it. Well, today we're going to help you get your glamp on. That means enjoying the things Mother Nature gave us without sacrificing any comfort. That's my kind of camping, uh -huh. right? <laughs> yeah. David Caruso is the president and creative director of an event design company, and he's here with ways to enjoy and rest, the rest and relaxation of the outdoors. In a little bit, we're also going to help you get your golf game on and avoid those rookie mistakes we were talking about. But first, David is here with more on glamping or glam camping. You can do both, right, David? I love this. Yeah. Absolutely. Good morning, ladies. I, I'm sorry, but I cannot picture you camping. Yeah. <laughs> like, for the well, life of me, it's not, I can't do it. I was telling people to tune into this entertaining and style segment, and it's going to be about <laughs> glamping, and they're like, what? Yeah. But what is that? It's it's true. As a Boy Scout, I did camp oh. like eons ago. <laughs> Scout's uh, honor, right? <laughs> but now life is about being more stylish, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we thought so much fun to entertain outdoors. And this summer, instead of packing a beach bag, Get your glamp on. Okay. I like that. So how do we do that? Because it starts with, you know, kind of this like tented sort of experience. And you say just create an outdoor tent. Absolutely. So at your perfect site, it's all about kind of bringing all the comforts of home to where you are. And I love setting an outdoor, when you're outside of That's the cute. tent, have nice chairs that are comfortable, able to be relaxing in. Bring some throw pillows. Some fur. Some, some fur. fur. <laughs> A little end table, but really fun things to set the scene outside of the tent. So you just have a really cool, stylish, relaxing, and appropriate setting. And something it. that you can quickly bring inside if it's yeah. not pouring rain. Yes. Yeah. Really great hurricanes that you could put candles in. Even electric candles, of course, are really. Um, I didn't know those things were called hurricanes. Well, beautiful containers, oh, lanterns, big hurricanes. Glass. I didn't know that. Yeah. Cool. Yep. So great items that you can have outside for some ambiance. You can see the string lights, the Coleman string lights that we put on front of the display yeah, to that. really set the mood outside of the tent. Okay. And then we have the inside of the tent. Right? Yeah, the inside. See, already the idea of roughing it is much more appealing. Yes. Because yeah, it feels I like comfortable. This. I think mm -hmm. we could do it. Yeah. I think so. I'm yeah. in. <laughs> what about inside the tent? So inside the tent, again, your favorite things, comfortable items from home, comforters, blankets, oh, nice yeah. throw pillows, a pair of comfy shoes. slippers. <laughs> yeah. Just really great things that inside the tent you can have. A lot of people use a blow up mattress, especially for glamping. Yeah. Get yourself off the ground. That's yeah. what I was going to suggest. That's Beautiful number bedding. one. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. End tables with some great little um, props from home or Cute. books, of course, things to keep you busy and entertain, but really just so that it's much more comfortable. Still easy, still affordable, but just more comfortable. I like I it. I like that. Yeah, I like the cozy ambiance. What about food and drinks? Food and drink. This is key. Uh, to your survival yeah. <laughs> yeah. as you go glamping. And everything is stepped up a notch, including my absolute favorite. These look incredible. So Yum. much fun. We were out in the parking lot torching these on Facebook Live earlier, but these fancy s'mores, so great. With these it's great Italian smart. cookies, homemade marshmallows by indulgence, great homemade brownies that Shannon baked up. Oh my gosh. And a caramel drizzle, all oh, torched to perfection. That is that just looks <laughs> delicious. Naughty. So I love good. It. So that's a great upscale, elevated treat for you. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to pack your travel bar. Okay. We still need our little goodies and things that we like to drink. That's so cute. this is a great old vintage like container. An antique one. Absolutely. Yeah. Anthony takes this camping with him. That's cool. Cute. So your favorite drinks, things to drink it with, really easy to still have your packed bar. Yeah. Love, love, love these. This is the Happy Glamper from Lakefront <laughs> Brewery. Nice. Oh, That's it's an actual so beer funny. called Happy Glamper? Yes, from that Lakefront Brewery. Great. It's really delicious and a great refreshing really summer drink. That. That's really cool. <laughs> Make sure to bring your French press for coffee in the morning as you yeah, rise and smart. start your day. Mm -hmm. And a wonderful packed and stocked picnic basket Cute. with some wine, plastic wear, of course, for yeah. drinking and eating things. But really, again, just to make sure that you're having fun, you're comfortable, it's stylish, you and your friends that are together can eat and drink well, 
and look great doing it. That's I awesome. That. And it's just outside on in your backyard, so you can go in and use the bathroom. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. You no. can do this anywhere, but <laughs> I always say I'll go to any campground that has um, granite countertops. Um, oh. In. Oh. Um, okay, I want to make sure we bring in um, Kyle now too, yeah. um, because we want to talk about um, some fun things to do. Because um, a lot of people get invited to golf outings. Maybe it's through work. Maybe it's a client. Something like that. Hey, but Kyle. they're like, Oh Hi. no, I'm not that good at, at, at uh, golf. So it's great to see you. <laughs> Thanks for having um, you're me. the professional at Grand Geneva Resort and mm -hmm. Spa, which is super fun. Um, so talk a little bit about um, this this dilemma, this problem that people have when they get an invitation like that and then they start sweating. <laughs> so we see it a lot. We host a lot of corporate outings, so we see it a lot. You know, the fir the very first thing you pull in, where do you where do you drop your clubs off? Who do you tip? You know, what do I wear? So just kind of the basics to make the guest feel comfortable when they get invited to this. Um, yeah. If they're not an avid golfer, they have never played before. Uh, just just going over those those basics and, and learning what to do. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. People hear the term scramble, best ball, shotgun start reference on the invite. So what do all those mean? You can just educate them now. Yeah. So you know, a scramble is not a not an egg dish. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, it is, but not in golf terminology. So a scramble is you know all players tee off. So if you have a, a team of four, all players tee off. You choose your best tee shot. The other three golfers will pick up their golf ball. And then everybody will play again from that uh, the best tee shot. So just, that's a best ball. Yeah, well, it's a Isn't best it? ball scramble. So okay. that that terminology gets a little little confusing yeah. too. So a scramble, um, and then everybody repeats that process until the balls hold. Okay. Which is one team score for that. All right. Okay. I feel like golf tournaments have so many fun things. You know, when you take those shotgun things yep. and your golf ball <laughs> yeah. goes in it. Um, the golf ball launchers. Yep. Yes, yep. exactly. Yep. And those are things that I think help people stay engaged and make it fun, even if you're not an avid golfer. Right. right. Golf should always be fun. Yeah. Number one, if you're out there and you're getting instruction and you're not having fun with your, your coach or your, your pro, find somebody else because you have to have fun. Yeah. You know, that's that's mm -hmm. number one, especially for, you know, the, the golfers that we're talking about with, uh, you know, playing once or twice a year. It's got to be fun. It shouldn't. It should never feel. You should never, never be driving there nervous about. You know, Being all these enough. golfers are going to be too serious. <laughs> you know, it should always be fun. <laughs> what do you think is the biggest rookie mistake that people make? I would say not getting instruction. Yeah. You know, t go find your local PGA pro, it, and just learn the basics. Learn mm -hmm. the grip. Learn the posture. Because, you know, a lot of a lot of my students who have have never played or you know ha play rarely have played another rotational sport in the past that yeah. I can relate it to, whether it's tennis or softball, baseball. And that's my goal is just to relate it to something that they have done. Mm -hmm. You know, because if, if the way that I look at it, especially with my juniors, you know, a lot of them are good baseball players. I'm like, were you really good? Did you pick up a bat and you were really good right away? You know, if they're yeah. struggling with golf, and they're like, right. no, I wasn't. Took yeah, a little time. But now you're good. It takes and time. And golf is Great a practice point. sport. Yep. Yes, you know? so for yep, sure. You have to, it's something you have to do. Should mm -hmm. people feel like they always should have their own set of clubs if they're, they're going to be playing in a tournament? No, no. You don't. If, if you get invited to a corporate outing and you don't have your own clubs, don't worry. You can rent. For, like, we have 60 rental sets that we, that we offer out. You know, mm -hmm. Obviously, you have to pay a little bit for those. But, or you can borrow them from a friend. How about, are you a collar course? Because I know a lot of people are like, you have to wear a collar when you golf. What's the dress code? Yeah, we do have a dress code. Uh, no denim. Um, obviously, in the in the spring and the fall, when it gets a little colder, these these pants aren't the warmest. So we yeah. do allow, you know, denim at, at times. But uh, for the most part, collared shirt and, uh, and khakis or, you know, yeah. dockers. Yeah. You have some fun things going on. Lunch is on us. If people golf um, and one of your deal dates, mm -hmm. which is just $89, lunch is on you guys. I mean, that's a really fun way to be mm -hmm. introduced. That includes 18 holes of golf on the, um, it's the Brood of, or the Highlands, yep. right? So either one of those two courses, then you get a lunch voucher, which is fun on um, their range balls, uh, cart fee included. But this offer is great on select dates and people, it's a nice introduction, I think, for people to enjoy a little lunch. Sure. Play sure. a, a round of golf. People can go to GrandGenevaGolf.com and use this promo code we're going to give you. It's Lynx Lunch um, to take advantage of that great deal of $89. And then lunch is on them, which is wonderful. Or call 262-248-2556. Then you have this fun Sunday golf and fireworks. You can join them for Twilight Golf on Sunday evenings and dinner followed by your Sunday fireworks display. It's happening every Sunday now through Labor Day um, for result and golf guests, which mm -hmm. is fun. Again, GrandGeneva.com.
for more details. Good stuff, guys. Very Thanks good. so much. Very Thank good. you both. So we're glamping and we're golfing. Yep. And it's yep. a beautiful place. It's unbelievable yeah, there. Yeah, it is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah those so fireworks on the Lynx patio, it's a great view right over the uh, over the lake behind the resort. It's just a beautiful view. That's Lovely. so fun. Great to Thanks, see you Kyle. guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.